Hi y'all, a shoe star goddess, I'm back. And I know you're gonna ask, why do I have this hat on? Okay. I'm gonna tell you. Okay, so today's video topic is about the alchemical marriage or the sacred marriage. And in alchemy, this is a marriage of your subconscious mind and your conscious mind, your left brain and your right brain, your masculine and your feminine. This is uh, separating the two into one form of thinking, to one form of being, which is supposed to heighten your spirituality and heighten your spiritual consciousness, okay? Um, so I made a few notes because I didn't want to stay on topic so I wouldn't just like ramble and ramble on. So the alchemical marriage is the merge of masculine and feminine thinking. Um, the right brain is more creative and intuitive and nurturing and creative. I already said that. And the left brain is more masculine, more logical, more having to do with numbers and stuff like that. So when, <clears throat> when you merge the two, you become like a super creation being like you're able to do science and art you're you're able to create on a higher level okay you're able to um see the logic in things as well as trust your intu intuition you're able to do what a woman and a man can do okay um you know your your brain activity also increases once you start thinking um on both sides so um this is the the goal of you know learning alchemy of experiencing um <clears throat> spiritual growth um they said a lot of alchemists back in the day used to always have a woman around them even if they weren't married it would just be their companion or their uh, I, I forget what they call them but um they would always have a woman because in alchemy you always need the opinion of the woman and you then you compare it to your thoughts and you know certain questions need a more feminine answer certain questions need a more masculine answer and then you put those two answers together and come up with the best answer that's why we have marriage because when two people get married you know one is a man one is a woman um and i'm, I'm just i'm speaking of uh like heterosexual marriage um gay marriage is is i'll i'll get to that in a second but um the heterosexual marriage is the masculine and the feminine coming together to create uh one so like when you get married and you light the unity candle that's you and that person becoming one um mentally spiritually and physically you know so with gay marriage there's always that counterpart of one person is more feminine and one person is more masculine. So it's basically the same thing, um, except uh, the physical part of it. So, you know, it's, it's mostly mental and consciousness anyway. So once you get to that point, you know, you know, after you've been married for a while, after you've been with a person for a while, you know how they think. So you can think and base decisions based on what you think that they will say. So like when couples get married, they tend to make decisions together rather than separate. But once you know your partner, you know, you know, if they're going to like this or not, because you're thinking like them and they're thinking like you when they're making decisions. So basically that, that physical marriage has created sort of an alchemical marriage in your mind because you know how the opposite of you thinks, you know how your other half thinks. So when a person can do this without being married or without, um you know being with another person then that is what they call the alchemical marriage a lot of people who are androgynous a lot of people who are really uh spiritual that's why a lot of priests and monks and nuns are not you know married because they're alchemically married up here well they're supposed to be anyway um even in the story of hermes it says that he was a woman for seven years and then he was a man for seven years so you know if y'all know that story and you know the birth of the hermaphrodite came from him and aphrodite which makes a male and a, and a female so it's like the alchemical marriage 
Um, a lot of people will also like if you if you like biblical stuff, if you like the Dead Sea Scrolls, um, and we all know that Jesus attended the Egyptian mystery schools. If you do um, follow um, those writings, even he said uh, marriage is for humans which means that he was already here mentally. Like he was already here mentally. He didn't need he didn't need to actually go through the marriage to realize later on, oh, this is what we're supposed to be doing because he already knew what to do. A lot of people will say, oh, well, Mary Magdalene uh, was one of his disciples. Yes, and that is what I said. All alchemists have a woman or female companion that they compare thoughts with um, because they have to learn from each other which is what marriage is really supposed to be about um, so if you can do this like mentally um, and spiritually and consciously already you know uh, that's why there's a lot so many single people these days because a lot of people are conscious now and the woman can do what the man can do and there still needs to be a balance but still it's not necessary anymore because we have come so far technology wise, equality wise, spiritually that we can basically think, you know, I, I hate to quote the movie, but think like a man and men can think like women now. That's why you see um, so many independent people who aren't getting married because the evolving spiritually and mentally at the same time also opens your mind up to you know why do i need a wife you know i i've been around women long enough i grew up with women to understand how they think and you know it's just you know and some men are at this point and that's understandable um but if you think like that and you're like on the fence about do you want a family do you want a wife do you want this you know you're gonna have to actually say okay well I'm willing to learn more by being with a woman in a relationship in a in a uh, human marriage so that's what happens a lot of times but as long as you've reached you know the alchemical marriage first spiritually in your mind then it's easier a lot of couples you know fight and argue all the time because they're too busy having a power struggle when it's supposed to be a merge okay so that's one way to look at it um also y'all know i have to quote my favorite artist of all time michael jackson even says in his song uh billy jean remember to always think twice meaning think on the masculine side and think on the feminine side like what would a, what would a woman do what would a man do and then they even came up with what would jesus do because he's supposed to be like the physical merge or the alchemical marriage in himself which is why they tried to hide his like you know relationship with mary magdalene because he was supposed to be this androgynous being that you know was alchemically married in his mental and spiritual so when whenever you see the phrase what would jesus do it's basically the same phrase as saying what would a man do what would a woman do now what would jesus do you know take the compassion and uh, nurturing of a woman and then take the logic and discipline of a man and you put those two together and you get your correct answer you know a lot of women fall for the trick of um being um doormats and being easily uh influenced and you know people work on their emotions because that's how they can take advantage of them but if you have a woman who's logical strong mentally disciplined and nurturing and compassionate it's going to take a lot more to convince her to do something you know you're going to have to <laughs> do a lot more you're probably going to have to pay them basically okay because women like that are too smart and too wise to be taken advantage of okay so that's why we have this you know um merge of thinking and this independence in the world now because as humans evolve we evolve in all ways whether we know it or not and then later it just might click so yes if you find yourself being to this or to that and you want a, a husband or you want a woman then you're going to have to tone it down to attract that because a masculine woman is not going to attract a masculine man so if you want to experience the human marriage you're going to have to tone it down you know 
And the same for men. If you want a woman, she's not attracted to feminine men. She's not attracted to a man that looks to her for support. She's not attracted to men who have their hands out saying, you know, take care of me, mommy. She needs like um, a person that's masculine because she's already got the femininity. Okay, so you have to think of it like that. And as far as for, um, you know, same sex partners, it's the same thing. There's more masculine females out there who, you know, don't have, don't want to be feminine. And so they attract the feminine counterpart of themselves. It does like gender, that part does not matter. It's all up here, basically, you know. So if, if you're thinking it's more masculine, you're going to attract a more feminine person. That's just point blank, you know. So especially if y'all are in relationships and you sometimes you have trouble making decisions and arguing and having a power struggle. Remember, it's not supposed to be a power struggle. It's supposed to be a merge. It's supposed to be okay. Take the female opinion, take the male's opinion and smash them together, make a sandwich and that's what you do, okay? <laughs> so people call it a compromise, but usually sometimes compromise means someone wins anyway and they just, you know, pay for it later in a different way. But no, it's really supposed to be a merge of the thoughts. So this can also help you become more creative by, you know, merging these uh, ideas together as one. And this is how a lot of like million dollar ideas start because, you know, women and men put their head together and come up with something that's, you know, appealing to everyone. So you'll see a lot of like uh, celebrities who are androgynous, uh, who are appealing to the masses in droves, like Prince, like Michael Jackson, like a lot of the rock stars you see out there, um, like a lot of rappers that are a little bit too crazy for my taste, but hey, you know. Then you'll see the really masculine rappers who can't do this, and you'll see them with a very feminine, beautiful woman, okay? It's the same thing. Um, so... That's all I have today for you on the alchemical marriage. Um, thumbs up if you like this video. Put all your questions and comments and stuff down below. And I'll get back with you later in, in the comments. I'm going to try to reply to all the comments. Um, so thank you all for watching. I really appreciate y'all. Bye.